everyone, Shannon Bedeen from Grade 8 B. Today, I'm going to show you that acids, bases, and salts are not only limited to the chemistry, but they're present in our everyday lives. On this table, I'm having some uh, everyday objects. And as a science detective, I'm going to separate them according to the acids, bases, and salts. I'm having here some chops. A toothpaste, vinegar, tomato sauce. I'm having here some salts, liquid soap, baking soda, I'm having some mandarin and lemon, and I'm having a bar salt. So, we all know that the mandarin and the lemon are citric fruits, citrus fruits, so they're containing citrus acid. And I'm gonna move them to my acid board. I'm having also the tomato sauce, which is containing the tomato, and it is having the oxalic acid. So, it's also an acid. I'm gonna move it to my acid board. We also know that the vinegar is containing acetic acid, so I'm also going to shift it to my acid spot. Are there is an acid uh, enough? No, nothing. So let's shift to the basis. I'm having here some liquid soap. As we know that the liquid soap is containing potassium hydroxide, and the bases are containing hydroxide ions, so I'm going to move it to my basis spot. I'm having here some bar soap. The bar soap. The bar soap is also an, a, a base, as it is containing sodium hydroxide, so I'm going to move it here. And we all know that the toothpaste is a base, as well as the baking soda. And we're left only with these two, the salts and salt and chalk. I'm having here sodium chloride and I'm having some chalks. So, I'm now going to... Uh, I'm now going to have a indicators, some indicators to indicate what I'm having here. I'm having here acids, bases, and salts, but I don't know which one is an acid or which one is a base. So I'm using the indicators to identify them. I'm using here the litmus papers. The litmus papers are used to identify if it's an acid or a base of salts. I'm having here this litmus paper. We know that the acids turn the litmus paper, the blue litmus paper to red and the red remains the same. The base turns the blue litmus paper to red and the red remains the same. Whereas the salts were having no change. So I'm gonna dip it. As we observed from the first moment that it is an acid because the red litmus paper, the blue litmus paper turns to red. And there is no any change in the red, uh, red one. We're having no change on the blue litmus paper. But in the red we do have. So it's a alkali. We're having here no change on the blue. as well as no change in the red. Now, after we absorb it, that this is an acid, this is a base, or alkali, and this is a salt, I can't tell you which, what I put here. Here I put some vinegar, and here I put some baking soda solution, and here I put some salt with water. Thank you. Have a nice day.